going on. We've got storms out to our southwest. They are coming into the metro area right now, Aaron, and we're going to get a bit wet here. Now, I don't think we're seeing much in the way of lightning here, but there's a possibility of an occasional lightning strike. Most of the strikes are well out of the city right now, but we do need to at least keep an eye on that as a possibility, but you can see the showers now pushing their way in. Most of this pretty light stuff, but it'll be with us for a while because there's plenty of moisture back to our southwest too. So we may well see these showers continue to just slide in our direction over the next few hours here. More than anything else, occasional rain, probably not going to make a huge difference in the rain gauge, but we'll continue to keep a very close eye on this. Back toward the south and east, this is where most of the action is. South of Clovis, pretty good line of storms now. Roswell's already been hit pretty hard with some showers earlier and some strong storms that came on through. Now we're seeing most of the action scoot to the east of Chavez County. A wider view shows not much going on for now in the northern mountains, but we are going to see this complex of showers eventually lift to the north. So you guys in Santa Fe, Taos could eventually see some showers going here as some of this moisture slides to the north. 86 degrees in the metro. South southwest winds 17 miles an hour, gusting as high as 24 across the northern portion of the state, mainly 70s and 80s. Some 90s out around Tucumcari and then down to the south just depends. If you had some showers around places like Roswell, definitely cooler, but down around Carlsbad, no showers and a lot hotter at 96 degrees. We've got pretty good moisture in place for today here. An old disturbance is helping to fire these showers that we're seeing right now, and this will continue to lift through. So when you have enough juice combined with that little disturbance, that's what's helping to give us the showers here. And through the night tonight, this heads to the north. During the day tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of the shower activity get shoved down to the south, especially over the southwest and over into the Sacramento Mountains when we can get another shower. Then things change a bit as we push a cold front in to the east side of the state coming up on late Tuesday into Wednesday. That will help fuel storms there during the day on Wednesday and fuel some wind here in the metro area. Spot showers will be possible Thursday, but a little kind of reduction in the showers overall across the state here. Looking at Superstorm Track, you'll notice tomorrow the action does shift down to the south, but even during the day tomorrow, it's not going to be a great storm day. But then as we push into the day on Wednesday, see what happens here. You start banking up that cold front up along the central mountain chain, and that helps to fuel those storms during the day on Wednesday and into Wednesday night. So everywhere from the Sacramento Mountains up to the northern mountains, we could pick up some more showers and points out to the east. 78 in Durango, 76 Pagosa Springs, and 77 in Alamosa. Mix of sun and clouds, not much in the way of showers. 87 in Farmington, 84 in Gallup and 82 in Grants. Plenty of sunshine out to the southwest, partly sunny with scattered storms possible here. And that chance for storms will be possible over to the southeast, especially over the higher terrain. 79 Rudoso, 94 in Roswell. Up to the northeast, a mix of sun and clouds. Some storms a possibility and another round possible on Wednesday with the front over the northern mountains. We get that chance at some showers for tomorrow and another round will be possible, especially along the east slopes coming up on Wednesday. 80 Cedar Crest, 85 into Harrison, 84 in Moriarty, and finally here in the metro area. Partly sunny skies for tomorrow. Chance for showers going down. It's not as good as it is today, but the temperatures will be just as warm. 88 degrees for a high, and if you want to talk more on Twitter, we'll do that at KRQE Mark. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Mark.